Hey everybody, so um, second time I was in Iraq is how I got that cane. And uh, we were convoying in in our Humvee, and the Humvee in front of me just blew up, turned into a big ball of flame. And I was the first person out of my vehicle, and I, I ran up, but I wasn't like a medic or anything like that. The only freaking body we found was our company commander just laying there, and he, I mean, you wouldn't think a motherfucker would be alive, yet conscious, and he's screaming, he's like, Sergeant Quinn, Sergeant Quinn! But what do you say to a guy, he's missing his left arm and his left leg, totally blown the fuck off. And I'm like, hey, Captain, you're going to be all right. Get the, just, you're all right. It's okay. He didn't get it either. It's fine. He fucking died. He was an asshole. Come on. Come in enough to be true, motherfuckers. Anyway, I'm visiting from PA, and uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but we have the Amish flu up there. I brought it down with me. You heard of it? First you get a little horse, and then you get a little buggy. <laughs> what do you call an Amish guy with his arms shoved all the way but a horse's asshole? Rich Hershberger. <laughs> He's a mechanic! He's a mechanic! Okay, first of all, first of all, thank you for your service. Second oh, of all, are you still a Second of all, second of all, you're forgiven for that. Thank you. Uh, wait, wait, so you're not in the... Not like in the did you steal that? Did you? Were you in the? No, I retired from the army. I did twenty oh, okay. years. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Well, when you say yeah, no, I really was in the military. I retired oh, okay. in twenty I years. Tell. When no, you said comedy not. doesn't have to be true, I was like, oh, which no. part? No, I really was. You want to see my wound? No. no, no I believe you. But he shaves his pubes. Damn. Yeah, hey, bro, that's a really sweet catch. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, <laughs> <laughs> Even after seeing that scar, that set was your hardest fought battle. <laughs> well, you know what? Hey, I wasn't no infantry type. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't the guy kicking in the doors. You know, I my toughest day in Iraq, besides that, was probably, I mean, Sucking yeah, we know you didn't kick it out. there was masturbating in a 120 degree porta potty. That's Come not on. as easy as it fucking sounds, on. motherfuckers. I mean, Dude, I did what I could over there for your freedom, goddammit. You're trying to play it down. You go, hey, listen, besides the worst thing you've ever seen in your entire <laughs> life, it was pretty kitschy. Hey. Well, Dan, you should see the other guy. <laughs> anyway, we're all dead. Hey, I'm going to tell the VA that you're up here and not using your camera. Don't fucking. Go easy, I'll make him a veteran. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck your mother. Come on, what? I mean, hey guys, whoa, he's been to war. Someone pop a balloon. Hey, listen, listen, I consider myself 100% disabled. Oh no, shh, never no, no, I'm not, no, no, I'm not. Listen, I like to invest in people's futures, I like to help out with that. If you're willing to get to work, I will buy you a squeegee. That's, oh, fuck yeah, I need one. I need a new one. Hey, those are the exact type of boots that Nat likes when women wear and stomp on his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I wear it for his mom. Anyway, uh, you got small feet. No. Uh, well, you know what they say about men with big feet? Nope. They're no. clowns. Hey. hey! Dude, you probably had your squad laughing so hard. <laughs> every, everybody, every old hey, trip. Do you, do you <laughs> shave your pews because it reminds you of the beard of the enemy? Uh, uh, uh. Someone requested it the other day that I do that for. Was so it Nash Mom? Was it? Was it? <laughs> what, was your? Uh, was your? Uh, was, was your like? Uh, like squad name something cool like Joker? God, I'm not for that. You, uh, like, no. you look like zero dark. Thirty pounds overweight. Well, I do have my mother's hips. Hey, there you go. <laughs> hey. hey, do you think if if like companies were to raise the military discount that more? Gen Z people would enlist in the military. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm, they, big, I'm big discount. Guy. They're gonna get trying like to help out. NFT or something. Take that to your bonus or something. To, as enlistment bonuses. Uh, this motherfucker, you're just trying to create policy. What are you doing? Right now? <laughs> well, he's our inside man. <laughs> Come on, man! I expected more.
more. What, dude? I don't know, man. What? It's just like we we we're gonna what? we're gonna shoot on you. You're probably like sad. And you have, whenever you tell whenever you tell jokes in a comedy club, that one it should be called the hurt locker. But I'm not gonna start shitting on an actual suicide risk. <laughs> well, dude, does this scare you? No, no, I, I don't. Yeah. He, he's like, no, I have like seven guns on me right the v, now. The VA gave me a legal weed card, so I'm Dude, no, it's my, ready like, to go. I go, does this scare you? He goes, no. Yeah, and then he goes down the alley and shoots up heroin. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, okay. Anyway, so. Nah, Matt just doesn't want to offend you, so he doesn't lose his heroin hooker. <laughs> Nobody gets that guy. Nobody gets that guy. He's like. <laughs> hey, what's your arm translate to? L O L T T Y L? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That Arabic writing, it, um, when my, when I, the second time I was in Iraq, my wife cheated on me with the neighbor guy. Let's and, go! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Well, well, so I, hey, guys, I went home. First time, it was the milk, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, so, uh, then I, two months later when I found out, you know, I got to go home, I beat the shit out of him. And I got all drunk, I was 27, and don't ever go get a fucking tattoo when you're in that state of mind, when your high school sweetheart you have three kids with, goes and fucks the neighbor guy. I said, I want you to put right here in my arm in Arabic writing, I want you to write, my ex-wife is a whore. So, I love it! How well, yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> but the thing is, there's no, there's no actual letter X in Arabic language, because we had to do the translation online. So, so it says, it's supposed to say, my old wife is a whore. Good, put that on there. A couple days later, I'm back in Iraq, right? And I get the translator, dude, come here, tell my buddy what it says. And then in a tent, like like 12 other army guys, translator guy goes, why you get tattoo says, no search result. What do you mean no search result? Why? So I'm fucking walking around with no search results on my goddamn arm. Because that's true, that's true. The fucking... Well, it's gonna make sense because no search results. Your Where's that guy with the turban? Come here, get up here. Wait, what wait. Are you translate, Hold man? on, well, that's, uh, oh, no, no. Get that seek up. No, it's funny. It's funny that you're just... I saw him at the front gate in Iraq. Don't fucking let him bullshit you. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. Pretty okay. far also, away also it, uh, it's cool that it says, uh, no search results found. Your wife wasn't searching for you either. Anyways, uh... uh, uh I honestly, I just figured it was, like, Godsmack lyrics or something like that. <laughs> yeah, if you translate that, it actually just says, ooh, <laughs> The state parks, veterans get in for free. Oh, God. So, he just got really they have, the most, they have awesome toilet seats, man. They're so fucking, yeah. And it's, yeah, well, yeah, it's, luckily, yeah, it's good to know that you have a backup job, just in case. With that said, Quinn, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. One more time for Quinn.